right here too to be green, so, um, yeah, you can call me Jesus. Um, yeah, starting today with the something with the important, um, which is love restaurants. I still think that um, IKEA or McDonald's did not understand me or didn't get me right there. I really insist upon zero chairs in this restaurant. Um, I really like only <clears throat> only sofas, only couches to be there, and uh, not a, this kind of huge house uh, couches like here. In this one uh, hotel. But really, couches you can find in every IKEA house. So very normal couch um, for um, two, three, five, four, six people, whatever. Uh, so I'd like really these restaurants to be having a lot of uh, couches uh, to be shared and um, literally to press people together, uh, to make people stick, stick together because I'm convinced that uh, this kind of problem of space in restaurants I love restaurants worldwide and make it possible that the entire world is sticking together and people are kind of in love with each other and are um, kind of less problematic to each other. So I'd like really to ask very dearly uh, to everyone who is um, putting money into this project, please. Uh, even if there are some kind of barriers and there are some kind of prescriptions for a restaurant business, I know they are existing. Uh, try somehow to um, to overcome them and to make it possible that these restaurants, these love restaurants, are the smallest restaurants worldwide, and, and they are filled only with furniture and formal and couches and informal love benches. I want all really people to stick together and to be kind of pressed to each other and obviously to uh, these love benches as I, um, as I earlier described them uh, that they're looking uh, having form like that we have to have for example a red color and they should be looking like that This is something that you have to do instead. Uh, you're putting your bottom at one edge, and the other person is putting her or his bottom at the other edge. And then these uh, ranges are rolling into the middle, so you're rolling all the way to the middle, so all of a sudden you're sticking uh, to each other and sticking together. And then you can enjoy your meal, which is called um, a broken curry or healed curry or. Um, a lot of poison, or maybe it's called, um, maybe it is called hot love, and it's uh, a drink which is uh, a glue line, which is uh, how do you call it in English? Um, a punch. Uh, I would really be happy if there are punches. If, if you can buy a punch actually during the year, because this is one of the most um, funny and delicious uh, drinks in the world. Um, it makes you dizzy, but uh, not totally drunk, so it is fun to drink. And um, I would like it to be uh, called hot love. Yeah, and now all of these um, love emotions should be actually becoming the names of um, of the uh, products or of the uh, food to be consumed with these restaurants. I would be really very happy if these love, love restaurants are existing and if uh, they are spread over the world just like uh, little McDonald's is and they're having the form of uh, from my heart and everything is somehow having a form of a heart and there are uh, walls um, in pink with uh, red hearts on it and something like that. I know it is a bit kitschy, but a lot of things are kitschy. McDonald's is actually, <clears throat> well, you can uh, even call McDonald's a furniture fabric, a uh, furniture uh, uh, shop, but in the end it is working perfectly. So even this um, cliches like um, 
um, hearts and everything else and, and pink walls can be working wonderful uh, worldwide and bring people together and make these walls a beautiful uh, free of work crisis world, world because as it is my uh, biggest regret is that um, the world is still having some war crisis it is incredible in the 21st century we are still on the level of you know 12th century or 14th and 17th century is just so very sad and it is so sad that there are so many broken houses and singles and some marriages are falling apart so I think uh, it is a uh, big need to bring people together and do everything to bring them together and also bring them apart so even chairs and restaurants they are bringing people apart and I don't wish that because this world is filled with restaurants with chairs in them um, this is why the world is so cold because people are sitting in restaurants uh, and chairs and they are uh, somehow having some front man and they are uh, talking to uh, uh, an opposition or to an enemy sitting in front of them instead of uh, sticking together uh, the love venture sticking together the cycle so I'm absolutely convinced uh, with the change of restaurant and the change of sitting um, sitting uh, possibilities this world is going to be changed because it is this um, everyone is uh, going to a restaurant really very often and people are consuming food enormously often so just by changing restaurants you will change the entire society